Hey Electric Academy, it is Chad Flynn here. I'm the guy behind the Facebook page and the website. And yesterday I put out a video talking about backstabbing. And it sounds like the consensus is totally divided. Those of you guys who are working on uh, lots of like towers and condos and that sort of thing seem to think that backstabbing is the way to go. And I'm talking about backstabbing receptacles, not your coworkers. And then those other people, there's other people out there that say you should be always doing the hooks. I am of the opinion of the hooks. But again, I am an industrial slash commercial electrician, so what do I know when it comes to that sort of thing? But I am definitely more of the opinion of the hook and having a good tight connection on there. Today, what I was wondering, because I talked to a couple of electricians yesterday and they asked me to ask you guys about what well, we got into a little bit of debate about when you put when you pigtail wires under moret, do you guys pre-twist them, then put the moret on, or you just strip them and then put them under the moret and let the moret do the twisting? Again. I am of the opinion that you pre-twist and then you take the moret, like you take the, sorry, you take the three wires, you strip them, then you twist them with your linesman, then you take your moret, you crank that on there, and you crank it on a bit more with your linesman just to get a good, tight, snug connection. What do you guys think? What are you guys doing out there? I know I've come across when I've done some basement renos and that sort of thing, I open up a box, I open up the uh, pigtail, and sometimes they're pre-twisted, and one thing I hate is when people pre-twist them and then for some reason they haven't twisted them properly, you know when it gets a little too long and when you put the moret on you can still see some of that live wire out there. So then they trim it back so you got a little tiny nub. I hate seeing that. But what I'm saying is sometimes I see the pre-twist, sometimes I don't. I want to see the pre-twist. Do you guys want to see the pre-twist? That's what I'm asking. So if you could do me a favor, do me a favor and share this out so we can get more people engaged in this. I'd just love to hear where it's at with that. So just hit the share down below there where is it? Where's my camera there? Down below there. And uh, if you could like it or, you know, give me a smiley face or an angry face or whatever kind of reaction you have to this, I would love to hear it. So again, to pre-twist or not pre-twist, is that our question? Also, make sure you check back on yesterday's little rant about the backstabbing receptacles. I'd love to hear where you guys are at with that. A lot of people are saying that the arcing and sparking happens when you try to force a number 12 wire into that hole. It is not made for number 12, it's made for number 14. I say you can get rid of the whole problem just by putting the hook on it and going around that. I have one guy on my YouTube channel. If you want, you can go over and check out the YouTube channel. This video will be on there anyways. Who claims that with the uh, backstabbing that he can hook that wire and get it on there just as quick as a backstabber. I have a hard time believing that, but we'll, we'll see. I asked him if, uh, if that's true and maybe we'll get a little challenge going. Maybe we can get a, a little video going of hooking and backstabbing. All right, guys, have a great day. I will see you later on, and I really uh, hope you guys are doing well out there, and stay safe. Bye.